Blub blub everyone, welcome back to Victoria 3 with the Empire of China. In the 1900s already, 1990s, so there are only 17 more years in... No, 27 years more into, into this game. And I want to finish that today and then we're gonna start, I think, a Sweden run. Just a chill Sweden run where I want to form Scandinavia, maybe kick Russia's butt. Take over the Netherlands as a puppet, which would be very good for the economy. We'll see. Well, that's my my immediate plans. And also I want to finish the learn the game thing. I would like to finish the egalitarian society thing here, but getting multiculturalism and protected speech is about impossible for us right now. The literati, I'm bolstering them for the last hundred years or so. Not quite, because that's the game, but let's say... Let's say 60, 70 years and they haven't gone anywhere, sadly. Great. Um, oh yeah, from farms to factories. That's never gonna happen. Because we're China, but sure. It's a mandate when in command economy? Really? So you can never stop subsidizing? I mean, you just need to make them profitable. Then they will get zero monies for subsidizement. Sergeant Pepper. But interesting that command economy does that. I would probably never go there anyway. I think the only thing you you want is interventionism. And that's fine. Or maybe laissez-faire? Maybe? But that's a big risk. I probably don't want command economy because that was dumb from the beginning. I want something in between because the isms don't help you. 2%. So we want the reformation. Yeah, look at that. Their momentum sucks. Oh, I hate this run. It's just China had never a chance just because of two people that are leaders here. The literati even hate me right now. Great. It just cost me some prestige and we have so much and it doesn't even matter. I actually want the trade unions to be unhappy. Can I get that, please? Could I make them unhappy, please, game? Please? I don't want more people in the workforce. It just means more radicals. And there are already so many radicals. Oh god. We're building all the electricity, then all the universities. Only a year of... Or a little bit over a year of production in the queue. Okay. And then we have to reevaluate. An admiral has died. Well, that's sad. They were actually useful at some point. How about it, by the way? Uh, anarchy minus 50 authority, that's just just bad. Barely could do consumption tax. Still, I would like to try it. Electric arc process. Anarchy is actually something I would like to try. I'd like to get working. We have the arc process, but not arc welding yet. And that would be devastating for us because, oh my god. That would be so expensive, and I don't even think we need it. But the arc process will be great for my steel mills, I hope. Don't really need radio. Maybe some military? Still four years for chemical warfare, damn it. Society, maybe? Psychoanalysis is pretty good. More influence can help. Mass propaganda is more authority, that's nice. Behaviorism. Why is that? Why is behaviorism a piece of meat with a stamp? Or a bell? Oh, okay, or a bell. Yeah, that makes sense because Pavlov. Pavlov's dog. Um, but that is actually conditioning. That's not behaviorism. Behaviorism is actually something different. As a biologist, I learned about the difference here, but sure, let's call that behaviorism, guys. It's the wrong picture, but sure. I mean, conditioning led to behaviorists, but it's still different. More taxation capacity could actually be extremely valuable. Ooh, more minting is 80k. But I think taxing is better. And this would be a nice paved roads. 
Uh, but I think mass surveillance fits China and we're gonna do it. Antibiotics? Yeah, really, I don't need health, to be honest. I actually need my people to die. Like a million uh, a year, probably, for let's say 100 years. It'd be great. I barely could do consumption tax. It was nice, though. The flag, and I was an anarchist commune, a different kind of communism. Yeah, sure. Let's call it that. Because communism is actually with the government, and that is not what anarchism is, but sure. Um, Eastern Afghanistan become more radical. Uh, the revived China society is not what I'm caring about here, because it's industrialists. So let's peeve them off a bit more. It's fine. Oh, by the way, I think I'm not even paying my people. Yeah, I'm not even paying here. How are you, armed forces? You're great. Perfect. How about you shut your mouth? And just take what I pay you, which is nothing. Yeah, literati are pissed because I'm not paying them. I may... Oh, no, that's way too much. That's way too much money that you want. No, 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 buddy. I just don't have the funds. Norwegian migration and an election. Is the guy finally... Oh my god, he's 87 now. The cancer-ridden opium addict is not dying. Uh, I bet when he dies, we get someone with minus 140 and I'm just gonna quit the game because that's done now. I'm going to ruin the US by enacting theocracy. Oh god. Even the thought makes me want to puke. Stupid church nonsense. You're making me actively puke, buddy. Uh, why, have, why do you have trouble? Paper should be ridiculously worth it. Apparently it is not. Interesting. Let's get four more just to balance this a little bit more. Radios unlocked. Yay! Electric industries can make radios now as well. Oh, what joy it is to be alive. I don't want radios though, I think. That would make telephones just ridiculous. It also needs way more electricity. And we need telephones for our industry, for our... Um oh, lead is a problem, okay for our uh, government stuff, so. We have 92 oil rigs and it's not doing shit. 10k oil almost. Yes, Borneo, you have to take this. And you're gonna just take it all, it's fine. I want all the freaking oil. I should have pressed Alt when I did that. Because I definitely want these first. And do the rice farms real quick. I should get the... Okay, let's get the radios then. If you guys say do it. I mean, that is good. More radios, sure. Better throughput. I mean, they are okay. But still, telephones are way more expensive. Okay, let's get more then. That was a little bit much in Chubu, but sure. Chubu is gonna be on the forefront of telephone and radio production. Because that's how it works, apparently. I hate you. Why are you still alive? No, <laughs> Shen, I hate you so much. You're the worst person for this country and it's ridiculous. Do it? No, that... Do it was to, to theocracy. Oh god, please no. I'm so happy that we're finally out of the state religion. That was the worst. Stupid religious people trying to hinder progress. Lead. Yes, lead was what I was looking for. And then I went to oil again. Of course I was. Okay, more lead. Um, sure, you probably need some jobs. Beijing, why not? 
get some lead. How is my stuff doing? Not great. Yes, of course I want to go to the market there. It's definitely my my intention. I'm still building these though. I hate it so much that you have to switch between these. There must be a better way at some point. Uh, I think let's get five more and let's get five more here just to future proof it for a bit. Okay. Yeah, 35% of the population can, pe can be peasants. You know how many of our populations are peasants? Actually, that is less than 35%. What? We have 11 million people unemployed. That is a problem. Uh, where do I see that again? Here, the production lens. And unfortunately, I have to go really quite into this. There's a lot of unemployment here and here. And oh my god, everywhere. Look at how many unemployed people we have. No wonder we have so many radicals. Okay, it's very bad here. I wish I could see that a little bit more effective. Effectively. Um... Oh, what do you need? Telephones. Yeah, that was obvious. You need a bit more just to future-proof this because I'm gonna ramp this up now like crazy sauce. Definitely some rice farms. Can you get tobacco? We need tobacco. A bit at least. Oh wow, even these need electricity by now. You have 20 out of 5 barracks. Totally, totally makes sense. Absolutely makes sense. Get some university. Get some coal mines, you know. Let's go into the mines, guys. And also get the logging industry up. That should help you with all your problems. For now. You are fine on infrastructure for now. Should we get some fish? Ah, it's already cheap. Shipyards, power plants, government administration, trade centers. Uh, <laughs> get the logging camps that you can do. Get some tobacco, get a lot of tea. Yeah, tea's worth a lot. I guess get some livestock, rice farms. Yeah, get more dyes. Some bananas, maybe? Neither for the rich people, I think. Silk should be fine. Can go up to 40 naval bases. I mean, sure? I'm not sure if we're producing enough stuff, though. Ammunition and ironclads are very cheap. You know what? Yes, do that. Be employed. Enjoy life. You will need this. Yeah, we're looking for unemployment a little bit more now. I had to ignore that for a long time because I just couldn't construct enough and I still cannot. Maybe we need to go to Ark Welders just to get this done quicker. Because that's three years now almost. 2.5, we're not getting there anymore. And if you would upgrade this... Yes, we would need to get a lot of tool, glass, steel... Probably also explosive and electricity, but it would be worth it, I think. And we could do that wherever we need population to be employed. That's actually good. So, to, to drop the price there. But we're not making enough money most of the time, which sucks. I don't know how to do this. I could increase the, the taxes for that, though. I think that would make sense. Because if I get rid of the unemployment, it's fine. Everyone will be happy, even with middling taxes. We're still trying to enact restricted child labor. It's never gonna happen. And I hate it. Because only the trade unions want it. But we need it to get our population up to speed, you know? They finally need to learn to read. Oh my god, we have 386 unkept. If we can, if we can tap into that, that would be amazing. I'm assuming we will have problems with paper, though. Oh, go away. I don't need these stupid messages. They're all useless. So 
So far, I haven't tried to ruin a country actively, like with theocracy and stuff, but... I mean, not that the US isn't, isn't close to that for ages. I always fear that they go there. The Emperor has taken a personal interest in the ongoing debate concerning restricted child labor. Sure, the Emperor's will will be done. And you have just... you just have to suck it up, guys. The only good thing about the monarchy that these events happen sometimes. Also, you need to keep the monarchy with Spain. I didn't knew I didn't know that. Oh. Austria shouldn't be should be cut down to size. Come on, guys. Can I do a play against Austria? I could win this. Josion would come in with us. If he could get, let's say, Prussia in as well. That would just be great. Why can't I do anything with you? Because our relations are still freakishly poor. Huh. Could I get someone else in? I could take on your debt, but you wouldn't like me to. I could bankroll you for a bit. I mean, that's not much money. We need someone with us. I could take out the French debt. Oh my god, you have a lot of debt, buddy. Which would probably give me... Yeah, which would definitely give me the alliance. We are neighbors with France. What? Oh, we are down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If I could, could, you know, sway anyone here to take on Austria with me. You know, if I do the alliance with Egypt, I could. I could have Egypt in there. And then we could down, uh, could cut Austria down to size. And that could give me... Oh god, that would kill Austria though. We would have the revolt back. Do I care though? That's mean. It would cost me a lot as well. I'm not sure it's worth the expense. Actually, what I should do is... Uh, wait. Oh, we have the alliance now. Good. What I should do is use them for getting getting Brazil. Just damage relations here. So Brazil doesn't like me anymore and just take over Brazil. Just because I can. Could also do that in Mexico. They're probably way too wealthy. I don't even know if I can do that with Brazil without uh, dying because of infamy. Oh, what I could do in the meantime, real quick, is what we wanted to do. Conquer this state. Everyone else comes in. We will have Egypt in here as well, sure. Uh, I'm just gonna make a, a save here because the AI screws me so often with these stupid wars that I'm not gonna try to do this without. Let's see what that would do. Mm, you could also sway Siak. That's fine. I could sway Lan Feng. Don't know why I have to sway you. You're my puppet. But sure. Egypt is in there because they have to. If no one else gets in here, I'm fine with it. And I'm just gonna gobble all of them up, which will be great. Stop the presses. A newspaper bound under Chinese law has started being printed again under permissive laws of Lan Feng and smuggled across the border. Crack down hard on everyone spreading this filth. And everyone will like it. Sure, screw Lanfang. No one likes them anyway. They don't even want an obligation, interesting. How about you? You want an obligation, but no, you're spreading filth. You little bastard. So we have one... ...thing here. Who else is in here? We have Bali. 
We're down there. Okay, that would be good. We definitely want this guy, and we definitely want Perak. Uh, no, we don't want you. We could... But I, I think I want Pont, uh, Pontianak. To conquer. I thought there were more in here. Cost me a little bit of infamy, but that's fine. Uh, I can't get these. Oh, yes, I can. I can get these war reparations, but I have to take them down, probably. And it's not gonna worth that much. They're gonna be worth that much, so I probably don't care. We could ban slavery there. Make them a puppet and stuff. Treaty ports. Meh. I don't even know what treaty ports really do, to be honest. I haven't read this yet. Both of Seda consists of a single province taken as a war. I mean, I know what they do in terms of what they do in China. Oh yeah, I want to take Portugal as a puppet. And take my... my thing there back. Treaty port permits its owner to bypass tariffs and embargoes when trading with any market in the same state region. Huh. Interesting. But they're not be not able to be uh, into incorporated actually. Oh yeah, it's my incorporated state, I bet. No, this is not a treaty port. This is literally their country. Hmm. Portugal. How about your friends? What friends do you have? You have an alliance with the city. Great, perfect. So no one. Good, and the whole whole of Europe hates you. That is just what I need. So we are going to take him on in a second after this little war here. Uh, mobilize you, defend this, and you are going to murder people. And that's going to be fine. I'm going to end this war real quick. And then we're going to take Portugal, because I want my port back, or my land here. Because this is a split state, which is not fun. I hope we're doing well. We're still building telephones and stuff. I'm doing deficit spending here like crazy, but I mean, we can do it. It's fine. Actually, I shouldn't do any spending here. Why am I spending anything? The investment is high enough. That I wouldn't need to. Uh, investment pool is very strange to me, still. I don't quite understand what it does, or how it works. What it does, I do understand. And I kind of understand how it works, but also not perfectly, which annoys me. Yeah, we still need more telephones. We're building here like crazy. How about the rest of the people? Shao Zhu needs a lot more. That is pretty interesting. You have a lot of urban centers all of a sudden. That's nice. Giving a lot of services. Eating glass, electricity and wood. Yeah, you know, more electricity probably, more glass. Get a few more paper mills. Can put you all in the iron mines. We will need that. Also wood would be nice. Anything interesting here? Maybe dies? Only if we increase the production of shirts. Let's go to 10 here. Let's go all the ports. Uh, sure, let's get more naval bases. I mean, why not? Let's just fill that up. It's great. Uh, I'm interested if we can have enough ship production with our shipyards for that. But we'll see. I want to become a better naval power here. Yeah, that's 50 more. That's great. Giorno call, a call, pool. Uh, all the electric trains, all the steel. Definitely government run. Essential services should always be government run, in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. Do we have more rubber? Is the thing. We got Siak in here. Where's Siak? Here. I mean, I could have taken you. Getting the Dutch East Indies and therefore the Dutch would be great, but I would have to fight Prussia with those. And I'd rather fight the French and get this land and finally get Australia federated. That would be neat. Meanwhile, we're slaughtering some natives. 
Oh god. Yeah, and the best offense in the world is 175. I cannot fathom how. We only have a hundred. I mean, it's good. Don't don't get me wrong. A hundred is nice. But how can they have 155? Do they already? You know what? Next next tech we're getting. I think next tech will be, um, chemical warfare. Yeah, we're going for the war crimes. I want that early. Earlier. 400 uncapped. Really? Why is that going up so hard? So we could get way more education going. Or university going. With, with research and stuff. And we're needing 10,000 coal. I mean the price is still very stable. So we have enough. We're getting enough. That it's not that expensive, but man, oh man. Do we need the coal? There's no general. Because we need these guys. Um, expert naval. Expert convoy raiders. Actually good. Armed forces, sure. And then we'll just promote the guy like crazy sauce. Makes the armed forces stronger. What is the shortcut here? There is no shortcut here, really. My god. But, you know, he can have up to 100 ships. That's cool. Well, this guy only has 20. We are neat. Definitely. Just invade those guys and we should be done. We already have 100% of the war goals, so this should be quick. And then we'll see what we can do about Portugal, because this is a personal goal of mine as well. We need to get rid of that. I wish we could do these. We need to do this with another country at some point. The uh, egalitarian society. Probably we're, we're gonna play friends with that or something. But for now, only 16 more years. I think I said stupid things before. I was 18 years, not, six, not, not 27 or something. But whatever, it's fine. I cannot math on stream. It's cool. So we're getting more of East Borneo in a second. So we'll join that up. How many people do you have? You do have some peasants. And you do have a lot more oil rigs. How about you make more oil? Fortunately, not more rubber. Maybe you get some rubber. I definitely want you only employed in these two. Although we could fill this up really quickly. And you get all the ports and get some railways as well. Sure. Meanwhile, we are still burning through the telephones and stuff, which we queued about five years ago or so. We need the better tech as well. Maybe you get that spread to us. That would be nice. Modern financial instruments would be nice. Macroeconomics is cool, but eh. Concrete Borneo, there we are. Thank you. How are you? How are you looking at this point? Oh, okay, that's better. We are hiring. That's neat. Oh my God, you could have 54 oil rigs and 25 rubber. Do I have a decree that I could do? I think so. Get greener, greener pastures here. We want this filled. We want all of this, and we want all of this. My god, this would be amazing. It's probably overbuilding. I don't give a shit. I need that oil. It's very lucrative for China to go into Borneo, because it's easy. And, uh, you know, why wouldn't you? Costs almost no, no aggressive expansion or infamy or whatever it's called here. Yeah, bad boy points. We have the billion GDP. Why didn't I get the achievement? I think I have not gotten the achievement here. I mean, I'm playing a save. No achievements available. Huh. Why is that? Why are there no achievements available?
Damn it, so I can't get that achievement. That is bullshit. Oh, come on. It's probably because I switched the stupid country at some point. Mm. Apparently it says that for all the saves. That doesn't make sense. Because I should be able to, even with a modified one. This is not CK3. That should actually be. I'm not opening this. I haven't opened this for multiplayer at any point. So this should be fine. I'm not sure why I cannot allow this. It even says allowed here. Fine. Then I can't get this. We'll get this with another country at some point. It's fine. When I hopefully don't have to fix the game's mistakes. By switching countries left and right. Wasn't the first time that I had to do it. I had to do it for South Wales as well. Uh, South Wales. South F uh, South Australia. That was what it is. Uh, for this country part here. I had to do that as well because there was a revolution. Even though South Africa had... Uh, so South Africa, South or Southern Australia had one troop. They didn't attack that stupid idiots. And I have no idea why. That's why I had to fix it. Because the game didn't do it. And it should have. Mm, you only oh you have gold mines yep gold mines gonna do that and some rubber plantations try to get the people there come on you can have a hundred conscription what that doesn't make any sense but sure also get all the ports for me to have more convoys also incorporate that land and this is already incorporated that's perfect we already paid for this this should be incorporated perfect. This should be incorporated, yes. This only costs me five more years. And this is finished? Sure, 20 years, fine. We have so much bureaucracy, it's crazy sauce. We could easily do this. Oh yeah, that's why I didn't get the achievement for this as well. Because I didn't do the institution stuff. Get the biggest institution thing. Oh, we're still at war here? Uh, no military revolt? We are at war. What? Bali, where are you again? You are so insignificant that I already forgotten where you were. Wait, am I crazy? I can't see a... I can't see a Bali. This is it. So all I need to do... Liang Ni, do it please. And then I have to murder... Siak and Perak. Oh yeah, those were here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, annoying. Devout Scandal. Kong Shiyu or Kiyu or however you're called. What the hell? You were. Wait, why is that. Has it gone away? Didn't take so long to read this. Damn it. Okay, these guys, but it's fine. They're all, almost marginalized anyway. They should actually be marginalized, and I don't know why they're not. They're giving good contributions, though. You got the destroyer finally. Oh, neat. That's cool. So we can make destroyers here? No? Uh, okay. Oh yeah, this is not possible anymore because they're outdated. Uh, that was here then. Yes, destroyers. Needs more ironclads. Good! Because that means I have to build more shipyards. And that means these people here will get jobs. I wish they would tell me about jobs and not only infrastructure here. My god. Game, sometimes, sometimes I'm just gonna puke. You must have a lot of unemployment, so how about you get all the ports and then you get about, well, let's say three times the shipyards? Sure. And also give me some naval bases, just because. And we'll see what that does. Destroyer warfare complete. Destroyer and Protector has made use of destroyer ships in the ongoing conflict, teaching us much about how they are best utilized. Uh, less requirement. 
What does that mean? Oh, military units with supply overseas. Okay, that's interesting. Or navy defense. Uh, I don't need defense. I need requirement. Less supply use would be amazeballs. How long do you take, guys? This guy is actually completely useless for, for naval invasion because there's no one, no troop there that he could use to do naval invasions with. And we should occupy this little island instantly. Mass surveillance. Thank you for all the taxes. And next thing will definitely be chemical warfare, even though it takes four years. I don't care. Actually... Yeah, the offense. Although I would like military aviation to be the first one who gets this. Oh, that would have been an achievement. I can't get achievements, so screw this. And with that, with the chemical warfare, I want to murder friends. What we could also do is we get 44 more barracks. That's five. Uh, another... When should we build those? Here, five. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Not celibus. Um... Not Borneo. Sure, that is... Thirty. 35 40 What did I say 45? Okay, 44. So you need to be East Borneo unfortunately. Although that is dumb, but sure, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's fine. They will get population at some point. Yeah, they have standard middling, middling standards, that is good. Uh, the turmoil is not good. I'm not sure where that's coming from, and it doesn't tell me, so great. Probably because of multi, uh, multiculturalism, which we're missing. Which is not enjoyable, but sure. Siak, Liang Ni, go. Just because he's a good guy. He's a good general. What if we want to get rid of taxes, mostly? Ah, oh, that costs a lot, no. What I'd rather would like to do is improve construction, double that again. So we need that tech. But I said I want the I want the horrible horrible war crimes and we're going to get the horrible horrible war crimes. Who else needs more jobs? Let me see. Oh my god, it's getting worse. It's getting worse everywhere. Oh god. Why do we have so many people? Goodbye, Perak. Why do we have so many people? It's not that bad back here. We could fix that easily. Let's let's fix Beijing. Give them more tooling workshops. We'll need that. Give them more steel mills. Give them more electrical facilities. Oh, electric industries. No, what do we need here? Rubber, uh, no, not yet. Give him power plants. Go to 50. And how about more universities? That sounds good. Also manufacturers. Sure, art, no, not arts academies. Uh, no, I don't think we need more of that. Yeah, the price is really bad and services suck. Sure, lead mines, why not? Give me some tea plantations. I don't think tobacco is worth that much at the moment. Are we the best producer of tobacco in the world as well? No, oh, actually we dropped some sulfur coal groceries. You can't get coal? Okay, but you can get groceries. You probably need better taxation soon. Where's groceries? Yeah, food industries. Get that done. There you go. That should help with Beijing. Oh, and absolutely get more railways, please. You have all the ports. 
We don't have all the construction sectors, but I'm not gonna build more. Yay, war reparations! Not that they will make much of a difference, I fear. 890, wow. That was worth it. That was worth it. Yeah, we're just murdering Siak right now, right? You have more oil? Oh my god, they do. Get all the oil rigs, guys. Come on. That's your most important priority. No, just 10. Conveyors unlocked. Assembly line for furniture stuff. Okay, but that needs more oil, which sucks. Why should I want oil? Elastics should be good. Oh, that's really expensive because of rubber. Okay, no. Wait, where was assembly lines? Here. That just fires more people. I don't want that. And costs me oil for no reason. Uh, what is their pro I don't think there is a problem here. No, groceries are actually extremely expensive. Which makes vacuum canning great. We just need to do this. Who has one here? Mindanao who has no people. Great. How about we make more in Tuva? There you go. Another 20. Making dye plantations right now. Neat. Neat, neat. Are you done? You're done. Why are you not dead? Could you please... Just deal with that piece. Thank you. Good. How much do we have? Infamy is quite okay. What did we want to do? We wanted Portugal. We could get them as a puppet, but I want this... I want this state. I definitely want them as a puppet because they should have... Uh, how can I see what they have? They should have some stuff back here, shouldn't they? It's just the Dutch East Indies. You were really bad with... Oh, okay, no, they were really bad. No, that's just relations. I want to see what they, what they own. How can I see that again? A sour truth? Given the low wages that workers in Hinan are receiving, more and more parents are pushed to send their children to work. No, we must stop this. Uh, okay, 50-50 chance. And apparently the stupid literati are idiots. Cool. All the trade unions hate me. No, we must stop this. Literati be damned. Oh, parliamentary republic is what you want. You know, if you could wait me, wait for me to enact this, I'm gonna do it. It's fine. Uh, this guy is... And he is still alive with 90. He's gonna live for the whole fucking game. It's only 16 more years. No, 14 more years. It's, it's 36 where this game ends. So 14 more years and he's gonna live that long. He ruined my whole run. This one person that I cannot get rid of with whatever I do. I'm even helping this bastard and I can't get rid of him. It's so ridiculous. That is so annoying, by the way. I, I want a functionality that lets me murder these people or something. I don't care. And if I need secret police for that, I'm gonna push that through. I don't care. I want to murder every one of these people if they if they screw me this this way. This is just too bad. If because the game only goes for a hundred years, these people can live a hundred years. So you could be stuck with the worst person ever for the whole run. That is just too much. That is not enough influence that I as a player can can you know put into the game because literally no influence of mine. It's ridiculously bad. Are you really employing these? Oh my god, you still have peasants. And you have all the oil rigs online. That's amazing. And they're making money. Perfect cash reserves. Awesome. Can we tax you? Mm, we can't because we're not incorporated, so... 
Uh, what else? Opium? I don't need opium. I mean, I do. But I make opium myself, so that's not worth it. You could make some naval bases here, but... Meh. Cannot conscript. Because conscription center is not expandable. Cool. Australian moving to Uruguay. I don't know why you would do that, but, you know, everyone his own. Yeah, these are not really profitable. These are really cheap now, these goods. Opium still has some stuff and wheat farms for sure. So you could get into this since you need some. Sure, let's get some fishing. Being done. Uh, get some universities then. That's at least something you can do. And let's get some more government stuff. Are we in here? Are we getting there with worker conditions? Neat. Neat, neat, neat. We could probably also go here without a problem. Let's just improve healthcare. Even though it's if it's private healthcare, it's healthcare. Um, although, do I really want that? Do I really want healthcare for these people? I doubt it. I have so many unemployed as it is. And people are getting more and more radical for no reason at all. They have... They pay almost no taxes. What is their problem? And if I can get my GDP high enough, I'm even gonna give them no taxes. It's fine. Uh, if I can, uh, you know pay for construction that is the other thing that I want I want the better form of construction to do that look at that our investment pool is so good I can just pay for construction with investment otherwise I would have to pay for this could we how good is our army well, it's expanding we have dedicated machine gunners which makes defense better Maybe I should just... Sure, you know what? Let's get automobiles. No idea if I say that correctly, but it's fine. Cars. Automobile. Which is actually the German pronunciation. Uh, where were they? Oh yeah, engines. Sure, do it. Maybe people will, will want them. Assembly lines is nice, but it needs more oil. And, you know, releases people of their jobs, which is not good. Not what we want. Let me just put this in here and then go back. Now, I'm making a lot of money with this. I definitely need more engines being made. Yeah, let's make some in Chubu as well. Orga can make them. Beijing can make them. Let's everyone make some engines. And then I probably need more steel as well. Oh, we have the electrified arc. Or electric arc process. Which will increase the price of iron electricity. Okay. So we need more electricity. We are building that though. So that's fine. How about iron? Oh god, every time we gain anything, I need to do this again. Which is getting a little tedious with all the stuff we unlocked so far. I don't even care if that's profitable. You're just gonna do it because I say so. Uh, steam powered threshers? Why is that only steam powered threshers? You can make tractors for that? Really? Baffling, but okay. Anything else I need some love? Yes, you do. How about you get chainsaws? How about you get... Yes. And no, you're not gonna be publicly traded because that's stupid. Because what the heck does the public know? This is better now. Uh, and I just kicked off a lot of laborers. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want that. 
I do not want it. Subsistence farms are actually increasing, which is bad. Ah, oh, damn it. Oil is so profitable, though. It's quite ridiculous. We could have done this in record time if we'd only, you know, tap into our potential here. Can I find these? Yeah, definitely do the gold mines first, please. And sure, also the rubber, I guess. More naval. Oh god, so much naval. More barracks. There are my universities. Let's make a few of them because that can only help us. Lead, still expensive? Oh my god, yes. Let's see if that helps. Grocery is still expensive, like crazy sauce. I cannot put the railways off for that long, though. Look at that, 20 pages of stuff being made. Oh god. Let's do that quickly. We need the better production there. We definitely do. Oh, can we make better uh, glass better here? Oh yes, we can. Mm. Increases tool and oil prices. Can we import oil from somewhere? Uh, we can export oil, apparently. I want to import it. Are we really overproducing and it's still that expensive? I don't want to export that to the Austrians. Uh, we could help with some, you know, cars that we are exporting. Lead could be imported a bit. Tools, definitely. They are always needed. I mean, we need chainsaws, but apparently tools are tools, you know. Fine. Telephones? No one wants telephone. No one has telephones. That's why we are the number one producer, because we're the only people who have telephones. That's ridiculous. You know what, what an advantage that would be on the battlefield? To have, co to have instant communication and no one else does? That's ridiculous. Apparently we need to get rid of some steel. Oh, there was a 20. Uh, silk? Sure. Get rid of all the silk, please. So I want to finish this, this research as quickly as possible and then go into... Uh, oh, Metropolitan Railway, we finally did it! The grand opening of the Beijing Metropolitan Railway was received with much celebration in a speech. The Emperor congratulated the engineers who made this possible. They deserve a reward? 100% extra throughput, oh my god. And they become more loyalist. The question is, how many engineers do we have? 10 million. That's pretty good. Our ra railway will be the envy of the world, which gives us a little bit of prestige, which we do not care about. So, yes, please, all become loyalists. It's another 5 million loyalists, if I, you know, s saw that correctly, which is not. Sure, fine. Maybe some of them already were loyalists because they can't afford so much. You pronounce it like the French do. Apparently I do. I don't know. In Germany we actually only say auto. That, that is all we do. It's a car. Auto. Um, actually we pronounce it auto, but still. Uh, dependence income goes down. Sure. I don't care. Or oh, the mortality gets... No. No, you don't get income. Deal with it. The parents have to work. You have to school. I want this to be done. There was a, a thing I would have liked to do there. Oh look, they still suck. Is this asshole still alive? Oh my god, he's, he's 91. Full of cancer, full of opium addiction. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. We have Radical Russia apparently. Interesting. It is so sad that you cannot help these guys, by the way. 
because I have an interest in, in Radical Russia to survive, you know? Or maybe I do, maybe I don't. Oh, the alliance broke. Long ago, because I have this one now, which I still have. But being allied with these two, could I take on France? I can as soon as I have this technology. Then we'll do this. Then we'll do this. I'm gonna kick France's ass and we're gonna kick Portugal's ass. And all I want from France is this. If France calls in Portugal, that would be the optimal because then I can just conquer this. Puppet Portugal will not be in the cards, but you know, let's just infamy burn down a bit. I want this though. Just conquer. There's a lot of stupid people here. Bali will side with the enemy, sure. China society... Okay. Empire Reform Association. Really bad. Really angry. Oh well. I hate you guys too. Just enact child labor, please. We're, we're good. We're restricted child labor, that is. Oh, interesting. We have two fronts here. Maybe they'll just back down. Trade route volume. Need. Not that I really care about trade route volume, but sure. If you say so, guys. If you say so. <laughs> they have one person, 100% disadvantage for us. Now they're only cordial. Why? Because I got five infamy? That is so dumb. But you're still my friend, right? You're still my my person. Yes, alliance is still there. Alliance is still there. And you know what? I absolve your obligation. There you go. 30 more. Oh, you're amicable again. Fine. I'm still bankrolling you, you ungrateful little biatch. My god. Sorry for that language, but this just infuriates me. Oh my god, you got five infamy! I hate you now! Having, usually having, you know, 50 infamy. Yeah, look at, look at that! They have, they have about as much as I do, and they are so pissy with me. Come on. Be reasonable, get buddy. Now we can upgrade all of our ports. <sighs> Don't need to, though. We have so many convoys in our market, and that's usually only us. 16,000, wow, from, from New South Wales. Joseon is a protectorate. I would like to, to eat them. Can I eat you? Because being a protectorate isn't helping me. I must be able to eat them at some point. Oh, damn, this has already gone too far, so I can't just take anyone. Oh, that was sad, because I would have liked to take these guys. Yeah, very much, though. Very much so. Fine. That means I only have to get this war goal and everything will resolve. It's fine. We'll just war again against these guys. Cool. You don't really save because of it. It would just save me time. And we are time limited because only 12 years until the end of the game. And then we're gonna switch, I think, to Sweden, guys. Oh, done. Done and done. Oh, you really have a, a front here, huh? Anyone else who wants to die? No? Cool. I probably have to murder you again, so let's just get through this. Wow, having my army up really costs money. And again, it's just the army. We don't have a professional army, so my conscriptions... Uh, uh, my conscripts are, are just literally uh, levies at the moment. I'd like to have a professional army, but you see how well it goes uh, with getting one law passed. It's really bad. What do we need? Multiculturalism. Yeah, I wish. Send us break ranks. Oh, wow, this costs money. Wow, this costs money. 
Uh, this law will not, keep, not get passed, but sure. I'm not paying that much money for nothing. Done. You guys are murdering. That's neat. Bloop. That was a short fight. Wow. It appears if you come with machine guns, they can't do shit against you. Oh, well, there's no one here, but... You know? Let's see. Yeah, 112 against 38. Yeah, that is just a massacre. <laughs> We're not even killing as many. They just break on morale so fast. They see us, we shoot twice, and then uh, a few people of them die and they run. It's great. Exactly how I want this. That's warfare. <laughs> you know, kill as little as possible with the greatest effect. They even killed three people? My god. How? Apparently they have they have sticks with uh, with pew pews as well. Annoying, but that's how it is. Come on, just break. Oh, you know you wanted to, buddy. The short duration of war is nonsense. If you be, uh, if you are in a war and someone takes your capital, you instantly capitulate. You can't even do anything. It's not like uh, you know, um, call for peace or something in, in EU4. It's just you instantly capitulate. Not the AI though. Also, if if the AI backs down, you get your primary war goal. If you back down, they get everything. <laughs> Literally, just just yep, yeah, everything. It's awesome. It's just great. <laughs> I hate it so much, you couldn't even imagine how much I hate Oh my god, what is this nonsense? Oh god. Okay. Um, all the gold mines, all the rubber plantations. Sad face. I cannot even do anything here. Why can you have less arable land than before. That doesn't make any sense, guys. Huh, strange. And you also need logistics. But I'm building you a port. Oh well. Now we have most of Borneo, which is neat. I would like to make you Southern, uh, to make you Australia, so we need to take that land from France. Actually, I'd like to, you know, puppet them, but. And they actually like us. And I could take on that debt. You know, I would if I could force them with an obligation to give me that land. That is rightfully mine. Or actually theirs, but, you know, same thing. No, oh, I need to damage the relations. What was that tech? I mean, useless stuff, I think. Just some production. Pasteurization. Actually very important in terms of uh, food. Oil turbine, oil fired power plants, so I wouldn't need any coal anymore, but that would ruin my, my gigantic coal industry. Which is not great. So I'm not sure I want that. Pasteurization though, yes. Uh, can you get baking powder done? Yes. Hmm. It's not for this stuff? Where's pasteurization then? Sure, fine. Bone China. That is fine, that is fine. That is fine. Oh, you were publicly traded before? No, it's fine. Cool, cool, cool. All because of one thing. It should always fall into, you know, into the bigger number. So if you conquer something and you already have 80 of something and then you get two more, then it should automatically become whatever you said before and not just, you know, middling, not just keep the old. I think. Maybe that's wrong. I could see that, that that may be wrong in some situations, but I, th I feel in most situations it would just be great. And we don't have any more skyscrapers for some reason. Sad. 
Real sadness. I don't need synthetics plants. Is there anything new here? Where was the pasteurization for? It was food industries, but where is that? Steam donkey it up. I'm losing so many people. Not here. You actually make more money without liquor? Sure. Fine. We're making liquor with these anyway, so it's fine. And sugar is more important, okay. Where was the pasteurization? Where is that? Livestock ranches, fishing wharves, waiting stations. So not that much actually. Where are you? Livestock. Livestock. So not here. Not there. Oh, for refrigeration, I see. No. <laughs> so many people will lose a job. They will all want my head. And I don't want them... I want to give them my... Uh, I don't want to give them my head. I like my head. There's the skyscraper, by the way, in Shouzhou. Or Shouzhou? I don't know how, how to say that. Yeah, we have more barracks than we should have. Great, perfect. That's how the game works, apparently. Yeah, let's give them a little bit more. It's fine. I want the better construction tech. Damn it. Can we get the Portuguese now? We are fine. If I make you a puppet. Let me just save the game real quick. So sad that I can't get any achievements anymore. So if I make you a puppet and then put the Conqueror State in there as well, I will get you as, as a puppet anyway. Oh god! No, this is neutral. Okay, okay. These are the people who have interest. Oh wow, a hundred for a puppet here? <sighs> Darn it. Can't do it. So, I'm just gonna conquer this. And it's gonna be fine. 11 infamy, sure. Let's hope France is not gonna push on me here. And you are still, again, cordial. That's so dumb. That is so stupid. By the way, uh, bank rolling plus improving doesn't do anything. It's just it's just one point you gain every time. It's complete nonsense. Uh, a lot of turmoil. Yeah, see, that is not good because there are some Chinese states in here. Well, it's mostly... Yeah, there's Shangzi. And that is because we have way too many radicals for no reason at all because you don't even pay taxes. There is no tax, guys. What What is your problem? Oh, I also want war operations. Because this is Portugal land, so I will get... For war operations, I will get that. You don't have any people who love you, apparently. I like that, if that stays th this way. Um... Caucasian migration. Very strange. Uh, what do we need? Oh, yeah. We have 150 flotilla. That's more than they have. For sure. We can have 190. Wow. I should get 10 more, to be honest. Get all the ports. And get 10 naval bases. So I get the, the, you know, the 200. How much do you have? Nothing. They got rid of everything? They probably had to get rid of everything. Yeah, Europe has a really awful game at the moment. And I could still take on France's debt and just be fine. And they would like that is the thing. That gives me... An obligation on them, but I can't take land with an obligation, I think. Huh. I'm still thinking I should maybe do it. 
And you also have debt like crazy. My god. Spain has debt like crazy. Well, I had I had debt for Spain. A lot of debt. And I'm still bankrolling you for no reason at all. But that helps you a lot. Yeah, you can cheat so much in multiplayer. It's amazing. You have 20 million in debt. Wow. I could be the bank of the world. But I don't want to. You know, I just don't want to. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna invade Portugal proper for sure. There we go. No one else is in the war. We're alone. Sorry, my bud. Scanning. You are my ally. Why are you not on my side? Uh, because I know why. Not because they're peeved, which we can fix. But because they are not interested in the region. That is it. It's a strange system with, with the interests. There we go. We'll instantly do this. And we will take our navy. And invade. Uh, it doesn't tell me what their capital is here. <laughs> with <laughs> They will defend with five. Let's go to Alentejo then. This is the capital, right? Oh no, Biera is it, uh, it is. Okay. Sure, they will try to stop me with five little ships. Cool. And they're getting murdered by the hundreds. Unfortunately, not by the thousands, for some reason. Even though we have, you know, machine guns and stuff. And you can use machine gunners offensively. Come on. I played armor. I know how it works. Well, at this time, they're a little bit heavier, but still. <laughs> Look at that. They have line infantry and we have killer artillery murder battalions. Loving that. Borrowed units. Very strange. Well, we took it. No, we could just wait because we should have 100% of our war goal. Yep. So they'll just falter at, at some point. But, but I'm still gonna invade Portugal proper. I would have loved to have them as a puppet after this, but sure, not possible. Yada, yada, yada. We'll get it later though, I think, because now we decrease their population and that will bring them more into the range. Oh, into the range. We even have a sea battle here, nice. I like the consistency that the sea battles work as exactly like the like the land battles oh my god they don't even have troops here we just took him in in two months in a month within the month we took him completely look at the occupation they're 87 percent occupied where is the rest of your land oh all these stupid islands oh god that is just a nuisance if you ask me Liang, do you have someone now? No. The Japan HQ has no one. Can we get someone there? Japan? They have five people. I mean, sure. Ooh, expert defense. I like it, but... Do I want to... Well, they don't have much power, do they? So let's get him. And then we can use him for... Invasions. I mean, it's not gonna take long. To be honest, it's per week? Yeah, every week they will get that exhaustion, so... Yeah, that's about half a year or so. That they need to wait now and ponder how sucky they are. Maybe we can take Josie on in. They're still kinda loyal. I'd like to take on your dad. Maybe I could do something with that. And there is a play for this. There is a play to take someone. I don't know if it's a protectorate though. And if I give them their independence, it's gonna take a while until I can take them. And I, li I don't like that you have to declare war on them to take, take someone you have under you. Like a... Um, like a puppet, for example. Don't even know if you can take protectorates. But you can definitely take puppets. Yeah, Canada. Very well. I, st I think they start with under 8. 
GDP. What is Scandinavia doing? Yeah, well, actually not bad. They don't have that many people. I mean, I give you people. I have a lot of unemployed who, who definitely want to want to live with you and work, work there, I guess. If you don't discriminate them too much. I mean, I discriminate like crazy thing. Because we still have... No, cultural exclusion. It's not that bad. We have deadly, deadly warfare of death. Awesome. What did I want now? I wanted... Could go into aviation. Doesn't even take that long anymore. No, what I really wanted was... I don't even know. Minting is nice. More money. I wanted something. Not flash freezing, not dough rollers. Oh, arc welding. That's what I want. Construction sector upgrade, finally. How long does that take? Probably also four years, huh? No, 26 months. Uh, we are... Oh god, we could have 500. Yeah. Oh, we're not... We're not building that much. Okay, let's go and build more universities. It says 500 is uncapped. So... Let's just get up to 50 in Beijing. Let's get a few here. Let's get a few here. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Sure, why not? People need jobs. Be academics. Go on. Get your qualification somewhere else, but then come back and beco become an academic. Rubber. Rubber, 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 rubber. Okay, let's do this. Where's rubber? There's my capitulation. That was actually quicker than I thought. Perfect. And now we finally have Guangdong as one perfect state. Perfectly in turmoil. Oh god. If we can make enough money, I'm gonna lower taxes again. How else could I do it? It's, it's literally just because of unemployment. A hundred percent. If I can get rid of this unemployment in Guangdong, which is about impossible. But if I can... There won't be a, a single problem left. Let's go up to 8 here. Let's get these glassworks. Uh, sure, get another level of shipyard there or another few. Get some more fish just to be employed. Yes, all the dice because we will need dice. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's actually a good, good thing. Um, textile mills. How about you make, let's say 50, 50 of them, bam, go, do, a million in Jiangxi, oh god, no wonder we have so much turmoil, but I just can't do this fast enough, it's ridiculous, sure, give me some more coal miners, although they will break at some point, hmm. maybe not the greatest. But sure, do you have enough? Yeah, for a while. Get a bit more universities, sure. That's our that's our work program, become smart. You know, if you're not smart, become smart. And then you can have work. That's how it works, right? That's that's how how things develop. How can I burn these millions of people down? Because this is quite bad. It's it's some discrimination there. Conquered, sure. Political demands. Yeah, that is my fault. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to do this. Definitely not going to preserve this. Censorship. We could. And you're very radical. I don't like that. Why do you have so much, so much, so much stuff? Uh, am I suppressing someone? Please tell me I do. I'm still bolstering you. You know what? Oh my god, this idiot. 93. Screw that. I need to suppress the communists. Factories are refusing to hire Bedouin people. You shouldn't. Yeah, you suck. You need to hire them. If you are in their freaking country, what do you expect, guys? Uh, let's go up to five. Let's go up to five. 
you have trouble with rubber sure I wish you could make it though but you can't Inscription centers there's another port you should have enough infrastructure yeah hey righteous boner Gary so what is Victoria all about um well okay that's that's not that hard to answer actually oh and I should put a cut in here but I will answer this first so in Victoria, you start in 1836, just before the Industrial Revolution started. Well, that was around the 1900s, but on your way to get there, you are in not the best state. Most of your people are farmers. It doesn't matter which land you own. Uh, most of your people will be farmers. Prussia is a little bit different, I think. They already have steel factories, actually, which is ridiculously good. Um, but you want to industrialize your country, and that's what you're doing here. You want to change your... or you want to... You want to industrialize and thereby also adapt to the changes in, in, in your society that will happen because of that. Because of that, because people will have different jobs, have different needs, um, have different opinions about things, they will have opinions about things. So abolishing the monarchy, for example, is a thing. Um, we have trade unions that, f for the first time, want stuff for the for the common worker. We have industrialists who want to industrialize hard and exploit people. We have uh, the old guard, which is here our landowner group, uh, which are idiots. Just all enough said. Um, we have the church, which are also dumbasses, which need to be expunged, and all the things, you know. And you need to balance all these things during uh, the time of the game, which is a hundred years. The shortest paradox game there is. A hundred years. Actually, well, not really because Hoi 4 is shorter, but, you know, 400 years in, in CK3, 400 years in... No? Is it 400? No, it's even more in, in CK3. I think it's 600 in CK3 and 400 in, in EU4, and he is only he is only 100, and then... After this, the World War One, which should have should have already ended, by the way, it didn't even start yet. Um, and apparently, there is no trigger for World War One, which is interesting. Prussia is at war with Russia again. That's the that's the norm, uh, or about to be. You know what, Prussia? I'm gonna help you if you want me. If you give me something, something that gives me. I can do a trade agreement with you, that's fine. Something that gives me an alliance with you would be great, because then we can, you know, murder France. That's that's gonna be the next episode, by the way. I will declare war about this island, because I want Australia. That is one of my goals, and it's only 11 years until the end of the game. We need to be, we need to hurry for that. So thank you all for watching. Leave me a like if you like, somebody do, if you haven't, follow me on Twitter and on Twitch, and come to Discord, and I see you there, bloop bloop, and till next time.